Hello and welcome to Sound Inside. For the label Tune to Movies, I produced a few action tracks. At this episode, we'll have a deep look at the track Drug Scout. So what's been the concept? At production music I imagine a scene from a movie. In here I imagined a car chase, bad guys, police officers and so on. At this track we got three elements. First the melody. The next element is the pulse. And the last element are the drums. But at first, let's have a look how I start. So I wanted to create a little bit tension, but not too punchy. This is coming later. We got two elements for this in here. And at the original, I had a lot of bass. You can see it when I bypass it. So now I got a clear sound because of the low cut. And here's the other element. The next is the piano gate. And this one had a lot of bass too. Sounds really awesome, but I wanted to cut all the bass because there is a hit coming later. And this hit works best when we don't have any bass before this impact. So the last element is this sound. It's a mixture of a hi-hat and a synth sound and we got a few effects on it. First I added the Echo Boy. I really love it. And the Echo Boy has a speciality because we got the style and the saturation. So now I turn it to wet. So you can hear it makes a lot of difference. Next is a little bit reverb. And at last I added the mini filter 
and it fades the cutoff frequency. Now we got the impact. This are two sounds. And this is the second one. This one is very noisy and gives a lot of high frequencies. So when this one is missing, we got more punch. And in here, I added the Ciplon effect because when I deactivate it, we hear that we got the bass all the time. And I didn't want to have the, the bass all the time, so I Cut it with the Simplon. Let's hear it. So when the second impact comes, it feels more punchy and it has more room. And again, without the filter. So now we got the pulse. We got a few pulses in here. We got this one. Both pulses are going to the group square. You see we got a lot of going on in here. That sounds really old school. So at first, I wanted to reduce the low frequencies. Next, I used the M simulator from Steinberg. So we got more dirt in here. At this sound, I wanted to have a shorter sustain. So I couldn't edit it in here. So I used the shaper box from Cable Guys. Next is the Echo Boy again. And you can see I used the saturation at the maximum and we got two more pulses. So in here we got a few plugins. Again, I reduced the low frequencies. Next, I used a little bit compression. And I wanted to have a little bit Distortion. And the decapitator, I love the tone wheel. And the style can make a big difference.
At the next step, I add a little bit high frequencies. And at the last step, I reduce the low frequencies again because of other. At the last step, I reduce the low frequencies again because compression and other tools can add a lot of low frequencies. The melody is very simple, but very hard. It's been played by three instruments. The first is the Volca keys. Next, this one. And all three together. All the sounds are rooted to the groove bass melody and have a little bit processing too. At first I used the CLA76 and I used the blue version because for me it sounds harder than the blacky. Let's hear it. And next, I reduce some high frequencies. And I wanted to have a little bit more bass. For this, I love the UAD Studer A800. And again, the decapitator. And at last, a little bit chorus. Now have a look at the drums. We got a hi-hat going on. And I wanted to have more attack. So I use the transient master. And I reduce the sustain too. So let's do it again. And we got some more drums. And we got the deep accents.
And another bass. But they are not playing the same. A friend of mine heard something like an echo lord, so this is the sound. And I use the Lyri Project Alpha from Daniel James Hybrid 2. There's something special at the buckets. So let's hear them on their own. So this is not the original tune or key. This is the original. Now, let's listen again, the whole music. So, at the original tune, we can't really hear it because it got the same pitch as the bass. So I'll pitch it up. And now let's try what's going on when I pitch it more and more. So four is my favorite. Now we got a B part. And here the rhythm changes because it's more not from the floor, just one on the floor. Boom, boom, boom. For the main beat, I use two kicks. This sounds very bright and deep, but I'm missing the impact, so I add this one. For a little bit variation, I'm using different snares. And for creating tension, I use two different sounds. For doubling the kick, I use two special piano sounds.
and pizzicato strings. Before going back to part A from part B, there is a very quiet part. So in here we got three choirs. Again, this special piano for a little bit movement. And this sound has a very effective volume automation. Now let's hear the whole track. really works are risers. So in here we got this one. Then this crash. And I wanted to have a hit crash. So we got a real impact. That's it. I hope you had a little bit fun. Please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss an episode. See you next time.